Hello children, good morning. I hope all of you are in good health and I hope all of you are safe at home. So my dearest children, today we are going to learn some of the good habits and good manners. Now these are very very important for us. It is very essential. So children, it is important that we know about it. Now, some of the good manners are like, first of all, when someone comes to your house, what you must do? First of all, you must wish them, you must greet them and then you must welcome them inside your house. You can offer them a glass of water or a cup of tea. It depends on what you give them. Now. What is the most important thing here is you must show respect and wish them. This is number one. Secondly, whenever you go out in the playground, parks or you also go in the train, you are not going to throw your chips or the biscuits or the cakes packet out of the train's window. Or you are not going to litter the ground by throwing it on the ground. Where you must put children? You must put it in the dustbin. Number 3. Always wash your hands. Now children, as you know, this is the time when COVID is everywhere. It is spreading so fast. We must keep our hands clean. Always wash your hands with the hand wash and use the sanitizer whenever possible. You must frequently wash your hands. Fourth, children, never walk dragging your feet. There are many people who drag their feet and it makes a very, very irritating sound. So you must never drag your feet. It's very important that you keep this in mind. You must lift your leg and walk. Number five, children, no tearing papers from your books. Now, sometimes you might need to cut some important pictures for the projects or for the activities. That is a different thing children but just to make the paper boats or the paper aeroplanes you are not going to tear the paper. Number 6. No being stubborn. Now there are many cartoon networks nowadays. Chota Bheem, then Pokemon, Doraemon, then we have uh, Motu Patlu. There are so many, so many um, cartoons children. Now you must not act stubborn that I want to see this itself because maybe your parents want to see the news. It is very important. So you must never act stubborn and tell that I want this only. Okay children, instead of that, you can request them to see the animal planet or the discovery channels because it is really going to help you in a great way. Number 7 children, always make sure that whenever you get up from your bed, your bed sheets are folded, your bed sheet is tightened and tucked underneath and it should look clean and tidy. You must never keep all the bed sheets and everything crumpled up. It looks very very untidy children. Make sure that the pillows are kept well and then the toys are kept well in the side. Be careful of that children. Also never keep water bottles, open water bottles on the bed because anytime the water might spill and make your bed wet. Another thing children make sure that your bed sheet is clean and it is frequently changed at least once a week it should be changed okay children make sure that everything is clean and tidy number eight number eight now children you must try to wash your own plates ask your parents how to wash the plates try to wash your own plates your own um, cups your own glasses, your own bowls, ask them how you must wash. 
Number nine, children, whenever you uh, have a sibling at home, your cousins are there, your brothers and sisters are there, you must never fight with them, children. Never fight with them. Why, you know, if you fight with them, you it might hurt you or it might hurt them and there might be a very big accident. So you must be careful that you do not hurt each other. Number 10, children, sometimes your parents, like anyone comes to your house, some give you gifts or some might give you some money to keep. Now, that money you must not waste it by only eating sweets. You can save that money in a box or in a small uh, kind of a closed box. Okay, children, you should be careful that your money is not wasted. Now, you must never talk in between number 11 you must never talk in between your parents or two elders when they are speaking to each other you must never talk in between but if there is something very very important and you have to tell it then you will use the word excuse me may I and then you will say whatever you want to say am I clear children the number 12 we have another important thing that is sharing now nowadays because of covid people are not sharing but once this is gone children and even before this we used to share our tiffin we used to share our pencil eraser whatever children whatever you can always try to share with each other another thing children always speak the truth be honest with yourself be honest because honest children are liked and loved by all always you must tell the truth children if you have done something wrong do not uh, feel bad that you have done it it is okay it is a part of life you can make mistakes so you just have to be truthful and be sorry for it okay children then another thing is what is not yours children you will never touch it now there are many things we see many times lying here and there but if it is not yours you are not going to touch it and whenever you go out whenever you go anywhere make sure especially nowadays children you must carry your mask and your handkerchief and do not give it in anyone else's hand nor you must take anyone else's handkerchiefs or the, or the masks like charge you must never take someone else's things in charge okay you must keep your mask and handkerchief with you and wash it regularly wash it regularly because that is something it must be washed every time another thing children whenever you are sitting you must sit straight you must not sit this way children you must sit straight and you must be um, like you know children your posture should be good even when you're standing you must make sure that you're standing straight and if you go to a principal's office or if you go to any elderly person what you must do children you must keep your feet together hands at the back and then stand straight and talk to them even if you enter any office or anywhere you must first excuse yourself you must always say excuse me may i enter or may i come in always keep that in mind children then even your own um, body you must take care of it you must cut your nails regularly you must see that it is always trimmed it is not very long and you don't pull or scratch others it should be neat and clean and trimmed now children i think i have told around 15 points there are five more points i'm going to tell you it's very important so number 16 always see that your hair is tidy and combed it should never be that it is somehow and you attend the online classes or you you go for a meeting or something like that see that you're neat and clean number 17 children eat your food in time while eating you must never talk either you eat first or you talk first but while eating you're not going to talk because sometimes it might choke and you might not chew your food you must you might be gobbling your food so be careful that you do not talk while eating number 17 do not watch television or phone while eating when you eat children concentrate on your food you must like your food you must enjoy your food you must concentrate only on your food no looking here and there no no seeing tv no seeing television no seeing anything 
anything computer or mobile phones nothing children you must concentrate on your food number 18 always obey your parents no matter what because your parents will never want bad for you children always obey them now number 19 children always see that whenever you are told to go out somewhere go straight to that place do not go here and there and do not get lost now sometimes it happens that we do not listen to our parents and we do our own way and suddenly we are lost we lose our way so be very careful that whatever you are told you must only do that number 20 most important thing children when i was in school i was taught this and i still remember it because it is very very important always do what you're supposed to do in the correct time if you do what you're supposed to do you will never be in trouble you will never be in any problem do what you're supposed to do in the correct time okay children i hope you liked my video it is really very helpful so children all the best enjoy this video children keep watching it again and again in case you might forget it's very very important children thank you children have a wonderful day don't forget to like and subscribe the channel please to share it with your friends thank you bye bye